Top of the top, off your back and on your feet. Got to get that CDL, ain't no time to sleep. It's your boy Big Matt from Bonafide here with Driver Solution. And today, I want to go over with you guys some steps to get you prepared to pass that permit test. Yes, pass that permit test. All three of them on your first try with flying colors. Yeah, we're going to do that. So, hey guys, listen. We already know you can't get to the next step in driving without going to the first step in driving. What's the first step in driving? Got to get that permit, baby. Now, in some states, they allow you to get the permit without having your medical card. In other states, they allow you to get the permit that you have to have your medical card in order to get your permit. This is my suggestion. It's not an order, just a suggestion to expedite your process. Go get the medical card first, just so you can swing to the next step as soon as you get that piece of paper, because we're going to get it, dog. So let's get into this. The first thing I want you to do in preparing for your is preparing for uh, getting your, your CDL permit. I want you to set aside a specific place and a specific time. I need you to set aside a specific place because I need you to get in your zone. Kanye said, don't let me get in my zone. Don't let me. Hey, hey. OK, back to CDL permit. Get in your zone. It's not enough to just go crawl up in the bed next to the white bed spells relaxation. Your body knows certain places and certain things. It's already accustomed. So you got to get, especially in this quarantine time, you got to get your body in gear and say we are in learning mode. So I don't know where it's going to be for you. I don't know if y'all got a home office. I don't know if it's going to be your living room couch. I don't know if it's going to be a kitchen table, but make you a specific place. And after you make that place, give yourself a specific time. Now, um, you know, if you're a morning person, get up early in the morning, get you a nice little workout or whatever, and get to those books, get you a nice, get you some nice food. And we're going to get that, get to that next. Um, but you want to get that specific time for two reasons, because you one want people to know, listen, between this time and this time, I don't want you to bother me Two, because we're in quarantine. You want your family to know between this time and this time. I don't want y'all making no noise. Uh, comma. If you're getting the family involved, I'm also going to need your help at this point in time. So. Set a specific time, set a specific place. Next, I want you to focus on your diet. Listen, I'm not trying to change how you eat. I'm not trying to do none of that. I ain't trying to get you healthy. I ain't trying. That's your business. What you eat, don't make me. You already know. But what I'm telling you is certain foods promote brain health, like nuts, fruits, vegetables, um, green tea. Listen, if you like your coffee and you're like me, see, I got ADD, ADHD, right? So what that mean, what that only thing that means is that my prefrontal cortex, the, the executive part of my brain, it don't turn on as soon as my eyes wake up. So I need some sort of stimuli to stimulate my brain. Guess what? Coffee, because of the caffeine, is a great way to help stimulate my brain. Also, if you don't like coffee because it does have um, some properties that are not so good for you, you can go with the green tea. Green tea also has health properties and it has caffeine. But whatever you do, you need to Google research some of these foods that will help promote brain health at this time, especially if you are a person who has not been in school for so long because you got to wake up and dust off the cobwebs. Conversely, there are some things that will staunch your brain health. Red meat. Again, I'm not trying to tell you what to eat. I don't eat pork. I don't eat beef. Those are the leading red meats that people eat. I don't eat pork. I don't eat beef. Fried foods because of the vegetable oil. You want to stay away from that stuff. Processed sugar. That's just bad for you all around the board. And if you're trying to be a trucker, you want to watch that stuff anyway because it'll give you diabetes, heart attack, all that crap. Cheese. Oh, God. Oh, God. See, cheese had me bound up. All right had me bound up but i love how about that my favorite food is baked macaroni and cheese but this is the thing man right everything must be done in moderation again i'm not trying to tell you what to do i'm just trying to give you some tips and i want you to to do everything you can to optimize yourself while you are in this period because it is very frustrating to some and i've seen a lot of people give up because they've had to taste take the test five five or six times but they were doing certain things that you know weren't promoting brain health and then they wonder hey man why can't i get this thing right so i'm just telling you this for your own good it helped me next i need you to get involved get everyone involved 
Um, when I was studying for my CDL permit and my and my actual uh, road test, my wife was on the bed with me. I'm talking about, bro. I would release the air brakes like this. Look, I'd be like, tsh, tsh. and then I wait for the air tank. No, no, no. That was really tsh, tsh. that was uh, releasing the air brakes, right? Then I would wait for the air tanks to fill up. It'd be like. That was my air brakes filling up, signifying that my, that, that was my airbag, that was, I forget how I had to say it, but signifying that my airbags are full and I'm now ready to resume my uh, pre-trip inspection. That's, you know, cause my wife was the fake inspector. It's been so long, don't judge me. All right. So I got everybody involved. My nieces and nephews were at my practice. Like when I was practicing my, my maneuvers, they were out there cheering for me. Yay, uh, give me an M, hey, give me an A, right? cheering for Uncle Matthew, man, and it made me feel so good, and it got the family involved, and it helps them to see, hey, listen, this is not going to just change his life, this is going to change our lives, and it's fun, man, you know, you make a game out of it, and that's what I mean by getting creative, make some flashcards, man, make a game, you never know who you're inspiring in your house to do something that they never thought they could do, because I saw a girl the other day, she said, I'm taking a step that I never thought I could take, blah, 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 blah. listen, somebody in your house is watching you right now, and they see how hard you going, they're going to go just as hard. So get everyone involved. Next, I want you to give yourself a deadline. Do not just let yourself study to no end. Don't just let yourself study to just be studying. I want you to tell yourself, listen, man, you have two days to consume four pages of information. If you do not consume those four pages of information in two days, Matthew, guess what? You don't get to go to the barbecue. This is the bad part. Most of the barbecues are at my house. That's a penalty, right? Because I'm sitting upstairs. You got to do what your mother used to do to you when you was in school. You got to do it to yourself. You have to put because you grown. Nobody can make you do anything that you don't want to. So you have to say to yourself, you don't get these privileges. These things that you can do because you're grown. You don't get these privileges until you do what you said you're going to do. You got to hold your own feet to the fire. And I'm telling you that deadline is a way to do it. And, and on top of that deadline, you're going to have to penalize yourself. So, guys, um, I, I, I think that'll be it for the day. I just want you to take your test prep seriously. Like, comment, subscribe to the page. Hit that notification bell uh, just so you can get, some, get the notifications that we're putting out new content. Hey, man, Driver Solution, thank you for the opportunity, man. Hey, it's your boy Big Matt from Bonafide, and it's Deeper Than Trucking. I'm out. Peace.